Chamber. Dad, I don't see how we can go through with it. This time we haven't even found a trace of gold. Well, you're right, dear. I guess I made a bad buy. Howdy, folks. Howdy. Well, I just saw your diggings from over on the hill. Thought I'd ride over and maybe get a job. Well, that is, if you need any help. Well, I'm afraid no one can help me now. Well, why? What do you mean? Well, I just bought this mine. Worked all right for a while, but I'm afraid it was salty. We let a couple of high-powered fellas talk us into buying this mine. It was our last money. Now there ain't anything that we can do. This is my daughter. How do you do? Well, I've done quite a lot of mining, and uh, this doesn't look so bad to me here. What do you say I stick around a few days, and I'd work on a percentage, and help you folks out? Well, that's mighty nice of you. I accept your offer. I'm afraid there ain't no use. Well, it doesn't hurt to try, does it? No, it doesn't. You're awfully good to help us. Oh, that's just one of my weaknesses, going around helping people. My name is Dot Gray. What is yours? Oh, you can call me uh, Just Smith. Well, I think lunch is ready, Just Smith. <laughs> Say, boys. I've just learned of a new way to salt a gold mine. There's a fellow over in New Mexico pours his gold into the shotgun and shoots it into the side of the wall of the mine. And that way, you can't tell whether it's really there or not. Say, that's a great idea. What do oh. you say we try it on the next one? It might be a cheaper way than we've been doing. It might be. It ain't no use. It just ain't in there. Well, you got to keep up courage. <laughs> you mustn't blame Dad for being discouraged. Well, I should say not. It is discouraging. He spent a lot of money in mines. But when he bought this, it was our last dollar. Well, I've got a hunch this is one mine that'll pay off. Well, I hope so. Gore, I come over here to see you, see if we couldn't make some adjustment on that mine you sold me. What's the matter with it? Why, it's played out. There's no ore there. Well, that isn't our fault. You say I said it'd run to form? And if we didn't, why, what can we do about it? Well, my money's all in there, and I'm desperate. Well, that's the chance you took. It was okay when we were there. So what do you want us to do? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I'm sorry, but we're not interested. Hey, Dad, come here. I think I found something pretty good. What? Look. Why, Wally, that sure does show a trace of gold. Say, Wally, are you sure there's much of this in there? Yes, I'm certain. You know, quite a ways back where we left off last night. Yeah. Dot, look at this. Why, there's gold all through there. Oh, I'm so happy. Say, Dad, are you sure your title's clear? Oh, yes, everything's all right there. We had the claims traced. Well, I know, but uh, let's all go to town and make sure anyway. I, I have to get some powder. Uh, no, you two go on in, and I'm just so pleased I want to get right to work at this. All right, I'll get ready. Yeah.
Gorn, I want to see you. What do you want? I know something that you don't know. If you'll give me $5, I'll tell you. Chuck, you're getting crazier every minute. Crazy, am I? Well, I ain't so crazy as you are. I wouldn't sell a real gold mine for a fake one. What gold mine are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe if you'll give me $5, I'll tell you. All right, I'll give you the five. Go on, tell us. Give me the five first. There you are. Ah, well, you see, I ain't so crazy after all. Well, what is it? You know that mine that you sorted and sold the grays? Well, they've hit it. Here it is. Uh, this is the first gold mine I ever sold that turned out to be a real one. Yeah, and to think of the dough we spent to solve it. and I here were talking it over about that little conversation we had the other night, and uh, we've decided that the mine isn't of much use, so we want to take it off your hand. Now, if you just sign this paper here, we can close the transaction right now. No. Why not? Why, you told me yourself last night that the mine was worthless. And here we are, like a couple of good Samaritans, trying to take it off your hand and give your money back. Now, why not? I've decided to work it a while longer. And I've changed my mind. Smith, this is Goran Wilson, the men that sold me the mine. Now they want to take it back. I'll give you snakes just three minutes to get off of this property. And don't come back. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You can't bluff. Get out. Well, Mr. Gray, drop over to the house a little later and have a little further chat on the subject. So long. How do you do? Anybody here? Stick him up. Hey, what kind of a game is this? This is the third time I've caught you snooping around here. Now you better come clean and let me know what it's all about. Gun, Barney. Throw him down that deserted shaft. They'll never find him there. Go on.
Put him down, boys. Barney, go get the dynamite. Wilson, you come with me. Back to the mine. Come on. I just saw Gordon Wilson go into the mine. Gore, what are you doing here? I thought you were told to stay off of this property. Gray, with the condition this mine is in, you won't be able to operate. There isn't any gold there. You're just a stubborn old fool. And I'm going to give you one more chance. Do you want your money back? No. If you think that gun is going to do you any good, you're mistaken. The man behind you has got you covered. Back the mine. Come on. Those men, Gore and Wilson, they've gone to the mine. Huh? Wilson? Gore? Gore and Wilson have gone to the mine to cause old man great trouble. The mine? The mine? Oh, thanks, old fella. Remember, I saved you. Oh. When you catch them fellas, I had nothing to do with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. That dynamite goes off, even the sheriff will think it was an accident. <laughs> and those fools won't be around to answer questions. Well, that was a great idea. With Gray and his daughter taken care of, and that young fellow out of the way, we have everything to ourselves. We'll go away for a while until things clear over. Then we'll come back and we'll have a real gold mine. <laughs> Touch it off. Get away from here. You take care of Dad. Where are you? 
you going? I'm going after Gore and Wilson. Oh. Boys, let's get out of here. Let's go over the border. That's the place you want to go. Well, it's nice work, son. Thanks, Sheriff. The federal government will be pleased at the cooperation you gave me. All right, boys. <clears throat> hey, the sheriff just sent word for us to come into town. Go over to the courthouse and prosecute those fellows. So I'll go get the horses ready. You better come along. All right, Dad. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done for us, but you can rest assured that the sheriff will take good care of Gordon Wilson. Well, you needn't worry about that, Dot. Yeah. I'll take care of them through the government. We've been after them for a long time. Then you're a federal agent? Yes. And you never told me. <laughs> well, there's lots of things you can't tell. But how'd you like to take on a new partner and help you along with the mine? Already have an interest, you know. That would be just fine. You mean that would be just Smith? <laughs> 